We have to represent our heavenly home. We have to represent our king, King Jesus, and we have to do it in the right way. But think about it today, glory be to God. Hey, friends, when you move, glory be to God, when you, listen, when you move down, uh, uh, look, move down to, to uh, 2 Corinthians. Let me uh, read, let me read a verse here. All right, now move down to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 20. 20, and we find out there, a uh, glory be to God, that, uh, that Paul began to take a new, uh, a new role. Let's look at uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, and I didn't mark it, so you bear with me. I just marked the verse down. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20. 2 Corinthians 5 and 20. All right, the devil must not be wanting me to use this. Forgot to mark it. Verse 20. He said, now then are we ambassadors for Christ through as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's deed, be ye reconciled to God. So we are ambassadors, see? We're ambassadors just as an ambassador would come over here of France and how we represent him. So we're ambassadors. So we're ambassadors of heaven today down here upon this earth. You know what we are actually, friends? We are every Christian person today. We're a colony from heaven. That's what it amounts to. When you're saved and born again, you're a colony from heaven, glory be to God, and you're down here in this land, glory be to God, down here, but your, your place is in heaven, a colony sent down from heaven. So how well do you represent in the walk that you walk and in the talk that you talk and the things that you do, glory be to God, how well do you represent your Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ? Think about it there. You see, you gotta realize today, praise God, that Paul knew what it meant to be an ambassador. Glory be to God, to be an ambassador for Jesus Christ, and that's what we are. So the church is that colony, glory be to God, and a colony is either bringing honor to the king or dishonor to the king. So it matters what we do. It matters how we conduct ourselves in everything that we do. In business matters, it matters. It matters today how you conduct your business affairs. It matters are you honest in your business affairs? Are you honest in the running of your life? Because everything that we do, we can move down the line over and over and over. And every single thing that we do in this life, glory be to God, we must realize that we are citizens of heaven. So people are watching what we do. We're representatives. We're ambassadors, Paul said. We're ambassadors down here. We're representing our, our home, glory be to God, our heavenly home. When we tell people, glory be to God, about going to heaven and we begin to tell them uh, about what we're going to, uh, what God expects out of us, our king expects out of us, then we have to live what our king says, glory be to God. Whatever the book says, whatever King Jesus tells us, we have to live, glory be to God, according to this book and when we fail to live according to this book glory be to God you know what we're doing we're hurting our citizenship up there glory be to God we're hurting how people will look at that listen friends as we begin to realize today we have a responsibility as Christians not just to have a Christian appearance we can get up on Sunday morning we can dress up we can comb our hair we can put on our suit we can put on that tie we can fix our hair back and we can do all kind of things but glory be to God, are you representing Jesus and the way that you live your life? That's what matters today. It's not the outer appearance, but it's the inner man, woman, boy, or girl. How do you look uh, by those that are around you as being a citizen of heaven? Glory be to God. Think about it today, friends. Does it matter? Certainly it does today. It matters how we represent that uh, our king, and it matters how we represent their home. So our walk has to do what? It has to glorify who? The king, glory be to God, King Jesus. Our walk must glorify him. So is your walk glorifying him or is your walk dishonoring him, glory be to God? Hey, friends, listen, uh, Jesus said that in Matthew chapter five, verse 16. Listen to what he said. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Do you hear me, church, that they may see your good works. 
What kind of works have you got today, you see? And glorify your Father which is in heaven, glory be to God. So we're glorifying him. We're citizens of heaven. We're up there, King Jesus. We're down here. We're a colony sent down here. And we're glorifying our king way up there in heaven, glory be to God. We're ambassadors down here for the king. We're working for the king. We're down here working for the king. So how, glory be to God, are we glorifying Jesus? Are we glorifying Jesus in everything that we do and every bit of walk that we have? So as citizens of heaven, glory be to God, it ought to be really easy for us to identify upon this earth a citizen of heaven. Would you say amen to that? It ought to be real easy to identify a citizen of heaven. Is it? Not always. Sometimes citizens of heaven will lie. Sometimes citizens of heaven will cheat. Sometimes citizens of heaven will do things that they ought not do. And what it does, they don't never stop to think about it. Am I bringing glory to Jesus? Am I bringing glory to King Jesus in my actions? How we act, how we do, how we behave, how we carry ourselves, how we talk to other people, even whether we're gossipers or not. Hey, every single thing that we do, every single thing that we do is either bringing glory and honor to King Jesus as our citizenship is up there or is bringing dishonor, which is it today, glory be to God. So we're identified up on this earth by the way we live. Could everybody agree with that? We're identified by the way we live upon this earth. Now let's take the second part of this message today and we have responsibilities, heavenly responsibility. We're carrying those out. We got a witness. We got a witness, do what God tells us to do in the book. We take the book. We do what God tells us to do in the book. We obey the book. Now let's go down to another step here. Besides heavenly citizens, we're earthly citizens. How do we carry ourselves as earthly citizens? What do we do as earthly citizens? What is our responsibility as earthly citizens? Turn to the book of Romans chapter 13 verse one. I'll give you a minute to turn there. Please keep your Bibles open. We're gonna be going through some verses. But in Romans chapter 13 verse one, look at what the Bible said, not my words, but what the Bible said. Romans chapter 13 verse one, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that are ordained of God, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou, listen, will thou then be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. Whoa. Whoa. You know what he's saying there? He's saying that God has ordained law enforcement. He's saying that God has ordained government. He's saying that everything, glory be to God, that we live by today, the rules, the regulations, the laws, all these things that are handed down upon this earth, what Paul is saying, obey the laws of the land unless it conflicts with God's laws. Then, praise God, if it conflicts with God's laws, we'll handle this later. But obey the laws of the land, glory be to God. So we're to obey, we're to have respect, glory be to God. We're under subjection to the leaders of this land, glory be to God. So we are under subjection to the rules and regulations of this land that we live in today, glory be to God. That's what Paul is saying. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For, for, for this cause, pray ye tribute also, watch this, for they are good ministers attaining continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues Tribute to tribute, due is due, custom to custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom 
uh, to whom honor, honor to whom honor. Listen to this. Owe no man anything but to love one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Now let's begin to break these verses down and let's begin to look at them. So we're to be under subjection to the leaders of this land. Glory be to God. We're under subjection to their rules and their regulations. Think about it. So we've got to honor law enforcement, glory be to God. I have heard some Christians that will sit and, and put down a law officer or put down a, 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 a somebody that is an authority or things like that over us. Well, listen, friends, this thing has been ordained by God. Why? For your protection, glory be to God. What would it be like today? People say, well, you gotta trust God. What would it be like today if, if we didn't honor and we didn't have no police officers to, to uh, uh, bring about what, what uh, is set down as rules and regulations and laws? When you go down the interstate and the sign says 35 miles an hour and you're driving 60, you're breaking the laws of the land. There is no conflict between that law and God, so you know what? You honor and obey the law and keep it at 35. Because why? Because those things are set up there by God to protect a child that may be in the area. Those things are set up by God and, uh, in order to protect even you and your foolish ideal of what you ought to be, the fact that you're in a hurry. It may be your wife that, uh, that get, gets harmed in the vehicle with you or it may be somebody else's wife or somebody else's child that you haven't obeyed the laws of the land and what God is saying there is that you have a responsibility to obey the laws of the land. You are a citizen here. So as citizens of earth, we're to obey the laws of the land. Hey, listen today. Let's say we have that ambassador of France over here and he comes over here and he gets in a vehicle and he starts down the road and he's going 100 mile an hour. Should he be able to do that? No. no. Did God, did, does, does his king say he can do that? Well, no, he doesn't. Because he has the rules and regulations to obey here. You see, God has set up things, glory be to God, for our good and for our purpose, glory be to God, for, to help us, yes, for our purpose, to help us, glory be to God, in a fair way that we obey the laws of the land. How many? Every single one, unless it conflicts with God. We'll talk to you about that in a minute. How many? Every single one. Every single rule and regulation. So when you fail to obey a law of the land that there is no conflict between God with, then what have you done? Who said it? Sinned. 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 Do you represent the king well as a sinner? Are you representing your king well when you do not obey the laws of the land? We do not represent our king well when we're not obeying, glory be to God, what God has told us to do. So we're under, sub listen, so we got to realize, glory be to God, that we've got that. So we must realize and honor, glory be to God, those that are in law enforcement, those that are, uh, glory be to God, keeping the peace, because friends, God has ordained them to look out after you, to take care of you, glory be to God, and they're ordained of God to do that. So we have a responsibility to, to, to obey them. You say, well, I don't agree with them. He didn't say you had to agree with them, but he did say you had to obey them. You may not think that stop sign ought to be there that says 35 miles an hour uh, uh, there in, in the edge of town. Maybe you don't think it ought to be there. Maybe you think you ought to be able to zip by at 40, 45 or 50. But friends, listen, it's set there for a purpose. Everything has a purpose and it's been ordained by God that we should obey these things, glory be to God. So we've got to honor them.